Farm Guy here, and this is Backyard Woodshop Sheds by Newell Gaming on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map, and um, yeah, this is 12.56 megabytes to download. Uh, 2022 20, and 3, and I think this is around the same slot count as the other, the other two factories. I almost missed this one. I had to redo this video because uh, it was confusing me yes i get confused easily sometimes okay so let's start with this because it pretty much is a sawmill uh, its own sawmill but production and factories and oddly enough i i kind of missed it it's right here this is the one really you want to start with uh, and then we have a woodshop shed and pallet production so pallet production is kind of like the middle in the middle and then so you really need to start with this this is pallet company which is kind of uh, deceiving because it doesn't really make any pallets but i guess that's what it's called right so forty thousand dollars to place that down okay so let's take a look at it uh wood's going in here uh the only way i can easily get wood is planting placing a tree and chopping it down putting it in there but that worked well enough um it's a pretty simple it's just a, a simple building we have output uh area here however um we'll talk about that in a minute here is the production uh point and there it is empty pallets wood well it doesn't make any pallets it makes pl planks wood beams osb plywood which i have no idea what that's four unless it's just a byproduct and wood chips right so i could still be missing something i don't know there is only one trigger to turn on we'll turn it on Thirty thousand liters of wood is the capacity and um there it is six in you get five planks seven wood beams three osb plywood and 0.3 and wood chips where do the wood chips come out I suppose that they come out as pallets. Um, right. Okay, so uh, we're going to run that. However, uh, we're going to set the planks to distribute and uh, the wood beams to distribute. And we'll see what the plywood looks like and the wood chips. But the wood beams and planks uh, I have to set to distribute now because of an issue with the next factory. Um, maybe we'll just we'll just go through them from front to end without. Usually I do one first and then the other, but in this case, uh, let's move on to the next one. The next production in this chain so it is a chain of productions and this is the uh this one the pallet production shed so you take what uh, you take some of the products that you have made in your sawmill pallet fact it's it's very confusing they all have they are all called pallet factories but only one of them actually makes pallets this one here pallet production shed uh, that's the 2220 slots. So it takes, um, okay, let's go take a look at it. There we go. Um, takes planks and nails, and it produces empty pallets and wood chips. Now, the wood chips here come out here, I'm assuming. I haven't tested it yet, but uh, here are the pallets, empty pallets it produces. It has an enormous appetite for nails. Where do you get the nails? Well, you buy them in the store. You buy them under objects and pallets and hidden deftly here, nails, $380 for a thousand nails. You can buy them one at a time. I bought a bunch of them because they go, th you go through nails like um, you wouldn't believe. Right, so um let's go over here input is back here now um and and i will it's full of pallets right now but i will 
tell you why um, set the pal uh, the uh, planks sorry planks planks are full notice the planks I have 18,000 liters that's because I had a uh, another sawmill running and distributing planks so um, unfortunately um, that's the only way you can put planks in this um, and oh it took the nails already so nails disappear right away the, these planks have been sitting here for I don't know days it will not accept planks on a pallet that's that's the um, I, I really don't want to but I that's why I put uh, needs an update or with what you know kind of suggesting it needs an update because it this factory here will not accept planks on a pallet uh, it uh, accepted them fine if you distribute to it but yeah so um, a thousand nails will not even get you one empty pallet uh, let's see do I have we have a thousand two thousand nails will give you one basically one pallet yeah um, it has an enormous appetite for nails um, so we're going to put a couple in there just to show you that they go in there um, the important factory okay we'll put we'll put three in there the rest is going to have to go into the next factory because that too has a ridiculously ravenous um, this one here appetite for nails uh, to produce those items that it produces and uh, there we go the nails are gone so we're gonna go ahead and turn that um, uh, that no not that one there we go that one turn that one on that's that's this one we're gonna be off to the next one so yeah now you can also um, set this to distribute the pallets to the next um, factory but you don't have to because that one accepted uh, everything no problem at all planks the next uh, the, the last one here planks nails wood beams empty pallets uh, that's what it requires for the recipe to make all these other items um, so that why that's why I was curious about the OSB plywood because um, I guess it's just something you sell it's not it's not used to make anything else now let's see if this will this should just take them right off the yeah it'll just take them right off of there so how much did that give us right so uh, 6,000 liters um, yeah that should give us um, some production um, right so the stuff produces it it pops out here this is a really small spot and we should see we should see a work uh, oh I, I put workbenches uh, let's see workbench to yeah uh, it it pops out these workbenches like nothing uh, it's only one liter you could make a ton of these um, just repeatedly um, that's like it's like literally nothing and, and the uh, fence panels is only 10 liters each so let's see here fence panels we almost have another fence panel and you can just see the nails like getting sucked up and you it's not like you can turn off any of them um, it's only one recipe it makes everything um, so I've kind of cheated um, and bought the things that uh, it produces so for one thing um, this is the small shed that it produces I don't even know how if it even has room to pop up there I'm going to try let's see here 
I'm going to set the fence panels to distribute the water is stored um, yeah small shed um, the small shed capacity uh, one liter so we should be able to produce a liter it's very slow as you can see here 0.1 per cycle but so it's gonna take a while oddly enough it produces water too not sure how you produce water from a manufacturing production like that so I'm gonna show the cell point now cell points interesting uh, where do you find the cell point I didn't show you the other uh, yeah, and I didn't show you the uh, wood shop yeah here's the one we were just looking at um, eleven thousand uh, dollars nothing seems to be awry with this it just soaks up nails like you wouldn't believe um, and then in selling points and selling points yes backyard wood shop shed one dollar so that's pretty good and sell pricing uh, down here is the um, items that we can produce empty pallets you can sell those there's the backyard wood shop uh, that's the wood shop shed where is the selling station generic that's the sell point uh, small sheds twenty seven thousand dollars so pretty profitable once you uh, if you can produce those but of course you have to produce all of them the OSB uh, plywood uh, it looks like it's just an item that you just straight up sell uh, fence panels are pretty lucrative uh, the workbench is look at that workbench eight grand for a workbench so I think you can make some serious cash with this uh, with this mod if you can get around the uh, some of the goofiness and that's not the only thing that that generic selling station buys it does buy a number of other things some grains but not all grains which is interesting and the pricing is actually pretty good on a lot of the stuff so workbench uh let's get her i uh, didn't even put a help window on yet this this one's kind of thrown me for a bit of a loop to be quite honest so one liter workbench gives us eight thousand dollars that's pretty good and they're liftable they're liftable they're liftable uh 10 liters of fence panels what does that give us Twenty. Three thousand dollars. Wow. And um, a small shed pays out twenty-seven thousand dollars. Wow. Um, right. I'm on easy economy, by the way. Um, right. And <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, that's a pile of sheds there. Um, right so looking at our production i didn't I, I haven't run them all so what we're gonna do now i'm going to run it for a month i'm 100 sure we're going to run out of nails but hopefully we can get a shed to pop up here maybe does it will it even fit there that's what i want to know all right see you in a bit well to my um delighted surprise it, it actually spit out a shed um, and it and it's there so let's see here yeah nails we've run out of nails that's no surprise um, and with everything distributing um, it, it is kind of a pain to run it um, it could use a couple of tweaks um, so we have we, oh let's see let's uh, we didn't check out run dear run um right where did so that's the pallet company are we 63 wood chips wow okay well that's going pretty slow doesn't really make a lot of wood chips um wood beams planks storing it hasn't even spit out plywood yet after a month so it's a pretty small I'm gonna to have to run it one more month to see if we can get any of that um, pallets okay so the pallets um, 
pallets. There we go. Uh, run out of nails, or almost run out of nails. Pretty soon to run out of nails. Uh, did produce a fair bit of pallets, though, with the nails we put in there. So if we would have put that to distribute, it will send it over to our to here and um oh looks like it didn't really use that many pallets planks nails it used up of course uh wood beams so right um yeah well um this is this is actually pretty neat that you can lift it by hand and then the sell price is fantastic. But what's really cool was the, the sell price for the fence. Yeah, um, wild. Okay, so I really want to see what... Oh, you know what? Before we really just go off the deep end here, I really want to see if that... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, water... Um, to water produced by as, an, as a byproduct that is um, that is something new I believe it's back here where this water thing is and start filling and look at that well uh, not a lot 300 liters interesting Right, okay, so the only thing we're really looking to see now is, um, oh, we want to, we should probably check to see wood chips. How much wood chips do we got there? 60 liters, not much, but we should really test. Let me go grab a, where did I put my... Well, hold on. All right, so try to kill about two, to one and a half birds with uh, still only okay because it stopped producing. Sixty-three. Uh, I did. I did come go ahead, and uh, we did end up. Yes, there is the OSB plywood, a thousand liters, a ton of it. Uh, that's pretty large. Let's uh, let me. pick this up hopefully we can pick it up I have put my I have boxed myself into a corner here almost and let's see us uh, since um, since we don't really have a choice of whether or not we produce this thing uh, we might as well see what it sells for it is a little squirrely on the end of that for sure let's go take it over to the sell point and see it is huge all right oh cool it's taking it one piece at a time there we go twenty five hundred dollars okay well that's not too bad uh still not sure how i don't know how long it's going to take to see how we get wood chips but it's looking like it's going to be in a in a in a pallet of some kind uh, if anybody knows, it's going to just take far too long for me to, um, let's see, it's this one here, to get a thousand liters of wood chips. Um, so, anyways, um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. I, this, this is the second time around <laughs> trying to catch all the stuff I missed the first time. But anyways, there you go. Um, that's the Backyard Woodshop Sheds by Newell Gaming on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and uh, remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.